Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Love's Name Charlie franchise. We are here in free agency, so we're doing this episode of free agency. It's probably gonna be a quick free agency video. I don't really have the draft picks or anything like that. We can even check my draft picks right now. I really don't have draft picks. Yeah, I went all out to have a good roster uh, last year, and it did pay off. We have we have the second pick, a uh, six, a six, and a seven. So. The most we could do anything with is the seventh pick. We might make some trades to get some picks. Might. But we, we, we don't know as of right now. We really do not know. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah. 80% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. It's a little disappointing. But anyways, let's get right, let's get right into the trade here. Let's talk about it. What do we need for the team? And who could leave the team, potentially? I think we're kind of good at wide receiver. We have a... Fabulous receivers. Okay, I don't know why some people lost their devs. Like, uh, Joe Reed lost his dev for some reason. I'll probably give it to him back. Anyway, let's, let's not even get into that. I'm going to get into that probably later in the video. Um, yeah, a few people that could leave the team or few positions that we might need. We need a running back, that's for sure. I don't think Justin Jackson is doing it. He is only, what, 26 maybe? 27. I feel like we, get, we could get a better 27-year-old. And his ratings are just 89 speed, not really cutting it. And he's just not progressing the way we kind of want him to. He's just not there. He's already 27, man. I, I Maybe you just kind of haven't given him chances, and hey, that's my fault. Kareem Hunt, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're looking all right for the overall and the dev you are. 28 star dev, 92 overall. And your stats are really good. I just think... Once we get you them superstar abilities, superstar X Factor and stuff, I think it'll be better. Preston Williams is good. Uh, Tony Burton. Is this Trey Burton? No, Tony. That's Tony. Tony Burton, good. I think we're good on receivers. We probably probably get more backups from the like kick returns and whatnot. I think our line is at a good spot. Uh, it's still low, but I think it's good. Like, these are young linemen, so we couldn't, like, kind of work with it. Hunter Henry, Marcus Ford, you might want to get a better backup uh, tight end. Maybe. I might look into that. But on defense, the real positions that we need to take care of. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention uh, Matt Bryant does have his dev release, and it was a suicide factor. I remember sure didn't get in the episode to put more hype into it, but I didn't. I am saying it now, though. He did get suicide factor, so that's, like, that's way better. Um... Yeah, that, that's actually really huge that he got super sad factor. Only 77 overall, though, but still, nonetheless, very huge. I think the only position we need to re really worry about, cornerback and uh, the outside linebacker positions. So we don't really have to spend a ton of money. We don't have, like, a lot. We have, like, 30 mil, and we don't have to spend a ton of money. So things I did mention, uh, a, a backup running back. Like wide receiver, not like a big signing. We could just get a potential wide receiver, and we just might get rid of some contracts. I think that's the big thing. We, we could look at some contracts that we don't need, of the people we don't need, and get rid of some contracts. I think I'm really bad at handling contracts because I don't understand the salary gap. This way, I understand it in all sports. I just think it should be like this for all sports. I understand you give someone a contract, but if I trade you, that contract shouldn't be in my hands anymore, you know? <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Like, I'll give you a 30 mil contract, but I trade you next year. A 30 mil contract for like three years, and I trade you the following year. Uh, that contract should not be in my possession anymore. That's just how I feel. I, I don't know. I don't know how it actually works. I'm not, I'm not really smart in that aspect. Um, yeah, let's look down on the list and see players we don't really need. Like, players we would be willing to give up. Yeah, Joe Reed has one year remaining on his contract. I was going to try to re-sign him this following year. But that is what that is. Manuel Mosley also going to be a free agent next year. He's going to be looking to get a contract. He's going to be going to his 30s, though, so... It'll be interesting to see what we do with him. Trey Herndon. you also be a free agent next year. We could also get rid of you right now, actually. I mean, you and Eli Apple also, but Justin Jackson's probably play we look to trade. Probably for a draft pick or something? I don't know. You're in this contract for three years, or well, three more years. 
it's not that bad. It's just over three. Like, a little bit over three. Going to 2025, you're almost getting paid four. It's not bad, but... It isn't one of those contracts we could look to get rid of. Uh, Josh Sweat. That's definitely one of the contracts we get to look, at, look to get rid of. Once again, it's not a lot of money. I mean, it's 10 mil, but... We still get look look to get rid of it. Darren Nash, maybe you too. You're also getting paid ten, and the rest are like, eh. There's no really big contract that we get rid of. Maybe Kaiser White. He almost getting paid ten too. We we'll look at the package these players in some sort of way. All right, let's just try, try to go make some trades. Let's try to go make some trades. All right, we know we're gonna put. Just to free up some cap space. Justin Jackson's going to be on there. And I just want to see if teams want him. Teams do. I'll try to trade him to the NFC so we don't have to see him so much. So the only team that really wants him is the Bears. Um, Do you have a draft pick for us? I'll take a first round. If you're willing to do that. They kind of are. Can I just do straight up second round? I really don't care. And they do that. Justin Jackson for a second round pick. Um, once again, he's 28. Not really progressing the way I want him to. Then he's not getting playing time the way I want him to. But hey, it, it is what it is, man. I can't really, you know. It is what it is. Somebody else you wanted to let go was like Kaiser. No, no. It was um, Josh Sweat. Darren Nash kind of could go to... If we're being honest, like Darren Nash and Keenan Savage. Oh, yeah, you had a dev trade, didn't you, Keenan? You had a star. So we'll probably keep you. But Nash could go. All right, we'll see what teams want you guys. Probably none, since you guys are low overalls. And you guys, are, you guys aren't old. Oh, team doesn't want Josh Sweat. That's the Bengals, though. I don't ever want to do that. Bills want y'all. Like, if I trade y'all when y'all in the red, like, even one of y'all is going to be a little difficult. What team is this? Seahawks? I'll do this. I'll do it for a draft pick next year. Would y'all give me a first round next year? They do. All right. We trade Darren Nash, Josh Sweat for a first round next year. Once again, freeing up some cat space. Freeing up. We're up to 42 mil now. I don't know if there's anybody else you want to trade on the other... on this. On, the, on our team. I don't even know what the fuck I was trying to say. Kaiser White. We trade him. We have no outside linebackers. And I think we're going to do it. Once again, I don't know what's in the draft. I don't know what's anywhere. And we're going to do it for a first round next year. Are they going to do this? They're close to it. How would I give you a six this year? How y'all feel about that? Probably not too hot. Yeah, not too hot. I'll take a, a second round next year. I'll take a second round next year. They're definitely going to do that. We already know it's going to go through. Kaiser White for a second round next year. And I think that's it. <sighs> We're somewhere in like the 43 mil range for cap space. Trey Herndon is a person I feel like gets fucked up a lot on our team. I think we're kind of good. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I think we're kind of good. We got about 43 mil in cap space. Once again, we're not signing any big free agents, but now we're going to look at free agency. We're not signing any big free agents, so we don't really have to, you know, we don't really have to do any, like, Hard looking into it. We do need to sign a backup quarterback, though. Minshew, Trubisky, Newton, Stafford, Hurts, Kaepernick, Cousins, Brady. We have to do that. <laughs> we have to do that. I don't think we give you... One year, three mil would be bad for Brady. <laughs> He's probably shit, isn't he? He's not the worst. He's obviously slow as ever, but he's not the worst. He's fucking 46. 
I'll give you a 3.5 contract, bro. No one else is going to sign you. I just want you as a backup. That's it. And you can kind of sign you, too. Are you asking for that much? I asked for 11. I'm not about to give you 11, bro. For backup? Sorry, I'm not doing that. Um, We do need a backup running back. I did say that in the end of this episode. And we're going to go ahead and sign a person that did help us win a Super Bowl in Ronald Jones. He went to 11 over 3. I think that's not even Ronald Jones in the picture. <laughs> Wait, who is that? Anyways. Um, I think I'll be willing to do that. Because no one else is really offering on you. So I just wanted to give you a bit. I'll give you a little bit more money. Give you 12 over 3. All right. So we just kind of signed two people so far. And our money is like back where it started. Wide receiver, I don't think we really need anybody. I think we're good with the three we have. We obviously probably could use some backups, but I'm not looking to... I'm looking for any big contracts, bro. Like, these guys are acting for, like, three or 11, 11 over three. I would say three over 11. That's not how math works. I'm not trying to give y'all that big con. I mean, no one's signing on y'all, so I could kind of lowball y'all anyways. Two, seven over two. No one's really signing y'all, so I really don't care. Backup tight end, I think... I think we'll just keep it how it is. I don't think we need any linemen as of right now. Might need some backups, do we? I don't need a backup there. Should we trade Dwight Freeney? I might look to do that. I mean, Forrest Lamp would be horrible. Especially if we do trade. If we don't get um, Forrest Lamp, we'll just keep Freeney. But if we do get him, we'll definitely trade him. Need a backup center also. We can also get these in the draft, so I necessarily don't have to do this right now. If you want 10, I'll give you 3 for 10. Like, I'm not doing that, bro. I feel like these DTs played good last year, so I kind of leave them where they are. Larry on Joby. Wouldn't be horrible, but I do think our DTs played fairly decent. They have Fletcher Cox here. That will be interesting to get them, but... No, no, no. We don't need them. Right end. We could get Montez Sweat. We're going to be acting for a little bit. I mean, we have 19 mil left. Justin Houston would be kind of fun. We signing Melvin Ingram. That would be kind of interesting. But I, don't, I just don't think I, it's something we need right now. Yeah, I don't think we really need uh, any edge rushers. I think we're kind of good on that spot. But on the outside linebacker spot, I think we could use some of these players. I would love Rashawn Gary, but I know he's not going to sign with us. I really just know he's not. So we'll go for the next best thing, Shaquem Griffin. He played very well for us last year. Give him a three-point-something contract for what it was. Hopefully he does sign with us. Okay. We don't need a middle linebacker. Once again, we could use a right side out linebacker since we didn't really... You get who he wanted. Ben Burke Kervin would be interesting. But he's looking for 15 over 4. Almost 16 over 4. And that's like all of our contract. I'm not doing that. You kind of got to prove yourself. So I'll give you a two-year contract. Up your salary a little bit. Make 8.2 over 3. Over 2, actually. Cornerback. Um, greedy Williams will be great. A young corner. I think he would, if we get him, we could definitely trade one of our corners in Eli Apple or Trey Herndon. He's done for a lot too, bro. I can't give you that big contract. I barely could give you this. Eleven over two. No one's really offering on you, so I could kind of lowball you. And I think that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to see if we get some of these players. Advance. Come on. Sign. Ben Burke Kervin signed. Ronald Jones signed. Um, Tom Brady has signed. Shaquem Griffin uh, rejected. And Forrest Lamp has rejected. All right. That's, that's a little annoying. 
Let's see who's signing around the league. I just want to see if any of our players that we went for signed. Wow, Shaquem Griffin went to the Broncos. You want to chip with us and you go to the division rival. I hate you now. Oh, now teams are offering on Grady Williams a lot. Yeah, he's realizing we lowballed him. Yeah, this is a little rough. Once again, we don't really need Grady Williams. I said Grady. Greedy Williams, but to get him would be fucking, like, that would be huge. Um, yeah, he's the only one we're kind of going for. And if he goes to the Titans, oh my god, that would be devastating. I think I have to, I think I have to up it. All right, we upped it. We're still not there. We might not get him. I think. Ah, do we just do we just throw it at him? I, I, I might just throw it. I don't gotta lie. What do you mean by that? I might just give him the four year he wants. I might just give him the four year he wants. I think you will be worth it. We look at the stats. I think you will be worth it. You're a great man corner. Your zone is right there. You got good speed. Yeah, I think you would be worth I just don't I don't feel comfortable spending that, but it could be worth it. If we throw four at you. Four years. Down the bonus a little bit. Let's see. I think we're up there now. We're still not up there. What are y'all throwing at him? We got up to 4.5. I'll go 4.3. 230 on the bonus. 104. Okay. Okay. We're, we're, we're number one in bidding. All right. Let's see if we get him. That's the only one we really want right now. We get Jawan Taylor, Phillips reject, but we do get Greedy Williams, though. I'm going to look into this one more time. Kick Goody just needs to sign, bro. You're not going anywhere else. Where did uh, Phillips sign? Rashawn Gary went to the Bengals. Phillips went to the Seahawks. That's right. We need outside linebackers, man, badly. We have 10 mil on us. Cole Holcomb. Can we do it with you? Decent speed, decent pursuit. Your block sheds are right. Um, I don't know. I tried to sign someone. 50 year option. Who's the 50 year option for? It? Probably Justin Herbert, right? Yeah. Of course, we're gonna extend him. Let me see, ask him what does he think. So, it's telling me it would extend him a year without negotiating, which is smart. But what to pay him like a top ten quarterback has been one for that one year. I think we have to, especially because we don't even have the money at the moment. Yeah, we just don't have the money at the moment. We got another fifth-year option? Kenneth Murray. Yeah. And they're probably going to tell me the same thing, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to just have to pick it up. Is Justin Herbert, not Justin Herbert, Joe Reed going to need a fifth-year option? Apparently not. So we got Greedy Williams, we didn't get uh, Phillips, and we got Jawan Taylor. Let's see if we get this other people I tried to sign. We got... I can't even say that. Okawiki Wolf? I don't know. <laughs> and we got Kiki Kuti, which is nice. 
And we're probably going to be going into the draft now. And I guess our team's looking decent. We're going to some upgrades right now. Should we do it right now? Mm, we'll, we'll probably do it after. Um, we're going to advance. Go to the draft, which we don't really have a lot of picks, once again. But that's all right. Don't need a lot of picks. And who knows? We might make some trades in this draft. When are we up? Oh, yeah. We don't have first round. I forgot. We have second round, though. So let's look on this board for... What do we actually need, though? <laughs> I don't even know. Probably, like, outside linebackers and shit. A possible back, a running back. I think we're good at uh, everything else. Defense, outside linebackers for sure. Yeah, we need outside linebackers. We're so poor outside linebacker. We have Matt Bryant playing outside linebacker. For what reason? I really don't know. Like, is he even good at that position? Probably not, like, at all. Maybe he's that versatile that he could play that. But yeah, we should probably be the outside linebacker. And I'm guessing we should be good after that. And kind of middle linebacker because I don't know who this is, but he will not be playing middle linebacker for us. Yeah, probably just linebacker. We'll, we'll just look into that. Put some people on my board. See what we got. Okay, I'll put people on my board and... We're going to sim now to our pick. And we'll see who's still there, if there is anybody there, which I would hope there is. And we have... Oh, there's actually quite a few people here. We're actually targeting middle linebacker a lot. Not line, middle linebacker. Linebacker or outside linebacker in particular. And they don't, once again, they don't look horrible. They look all right. Like people with uh, good strength would be kind of nice. Because we do need people getting to that quarterback. I think we're actually going to take this DT. Uh, Rashad Haynes. 6'4", 307, out of Wisconsin. A minus tackle, B plus pursuit, B power moves. Once again, doesn't look that bad. Really doesn't look that bad. 71, normal dev. Uh, he was ranked 34, took him at 59. Doesn't look that bad. 88 strength, 71 block move. I said block move. 71 block shed, 76 power move, 83 tackle. He doesn't look bad. Does not. Not the position we were really looking for, but he doesn't look bad at all. Not mad at the pick. And we still could play my outside linebacker because he's going to be playing on the line. Our outside linebackers play on the line. So I'm not too mad at it. Then we're going to take Trayvon Hap. I said Hap. Trayvon Tap. And he, he, he looks all right. B plus pursuit. B plus finesse move. B minus awareness. That should make his overall go up a little bit, right? And 73, uh, hidden dev. 18 in the class, took him at 64. 86 uh, speed, which is also uh, always good. 78 block, uh, 78 block, 78 finesse, 79 pursuit. Um, 71 hit power, not bad. Not bad at all. Looks like a very good player. I think that's it for our high draft picks. The rest of our draft picks are late, 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 like six round. And we'll see if any of our players are here that we had on the draft board. If not, then we'll just skip it. We do have two players here, so maybe those are two final picks. We'll take them. Danny McCoy, a person that's supposed to go in the fifth round. He did bench press the third most out of the right tower linebacker, so he must be strong. B plus pursuit, B plus hit power, 
B minus block shit. His stats might look good. Let's see what we got in him. 66, uh, the value is there for sure. And I'm not gonna lie, he's not horrible, but yeah, that's all I'll say. <laughs> he's not horrible. He's something to work with. Not the worst. He's not the worst we've seen. And I think we will go to our next pick and now probably our final pick of the draft, if I'm not mistaken. Might have one more, but this is most likely our final pick. And this DT is still here. He's supposed to go undrafted, B pursuit, B minus tackle, and B minus hit power. I don't think we take him. I think we look for uh, a uh, a linebacker in the sense. We don't have nobody scouted. We have some tackles scouted. But they're no good. I mean, it is a six round, so what can I really expect? I mean, I guess we'll just take this corner. Victor Cotton. Looks like shit. And he is shit. Good value, though. Um... Yeah, you can't really cover worth of anything. <laughs> so I think our draft is done. Very much done. I mean, we did get a hidden, hidden dev outside linebacker, so I'm not too mad at it. Can't be too mad at that. We're going to go to week one. Preseason week one. And we'll just look at the team. And I guess this, that might be the end of the episode, honestly. There's nothing much we have to go over. Trey Herndon return, even though you got injured. Um, did our defense get worse? I don't know. Can't really tell. They gave us a head and dev running back. Did we draft him? Yeah. They took him in the seventh round. Joel Alexander. Um interesting, I guess. Probably won't get playing time, but if injuries happen, then you might see some playing time. I'm not going to lie, our team doesn't look as bad as I think it does. Like, in my head, it really does not look that bad. Uh, we're going to have to find a way to make Matt Bryant play a little more. I might put him to left, right end. Um, Yeah, um, let me see if I can put him to right end, actually, right now. Because he's going to be on the left side with Joey Bow, so we just don't want that. I think he'll fare more on that left side with um, Chandler Nwosu. And yeah, I think you'll get more playing time over there. And uh, I don't think our team is horrible. I really don't. I actually like how our team looks. I'll be looking at free agency to see if there's any like undrafted guys we could take in there that look good or have a hidden dev or something. I always do that each year. Just see if we could just steal someone from free agency. See if anybody's there. And, yeah, our team. I don't think our team looks bad. I think I'm, I'm going to give Trey, not Trey Burton. I'm going to give Joe Reed back his uh, superstar um, ability. And I think that's all we lost, really. I don't think he should have lost it because I think he still had a good season, even though he missed about three games at the beginning of the season. If he played those three games, it would have been different. He won a Super Bowl, so that's, that's big. And, yeah, I think we're good. only thing we need to address is... Uh, I don't think we need to just anything except this middle linebacker spot. Just a backup middle linebacker. Well, he's like a four-string middle linebacker, if we're being honest. We could address that, and everything else will be good. Once again, I'm looking for agency for these undrafted players. See if we could steal something. If we don't, we don't. And I will probably see you in the beginning of the regular season. Once again, if you did enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so hit the subscribe button once again. Once again, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next video. But until next video, peace.